With the increasing popularity of electric vehicles on our roadways and e-bikes on our greenways and trails, holy cow, I'm in the red. <laughs> we thought it'd be fun to bring both worlds together and feature an EV that's also e-bike friendly. And we're gonna do that next on Zero to 60 TV by LeafCars.com. So I got my bike guy, I got my car guy, we've got our EV and our e-bikes. Phil Adair from Conti's Bike Shop and Mike G from Volkswagen Carry, thank you for bringing the car. My pleasure. Mike, you're gonna show us some bike-friendly features of this ID4 Pro S all-wheel drive. Phil, are you ready to hop in and take a drive? Absolutely, can't wait. I remember the first time I hopped behind the wheel of an ID4, I really felt that everything that I love about the brand and, and how it handles, how it accelerates, it's just in a newer, newer setup. You know, not being in a, in a combustion engine is a new experience, but it was, it's an easy transition. Most electric platforms just have what they call one pedal driving, where when you let off the accelerator, it starts braking for you and collecting energy to put back into the, 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 the battery pack. With Volkswagen, they wanted a seamless transition uh, for drivers getting into an electric vehicle for the first time. So we have a standard drive mode that'll let you just coast when you let off the accelerator, and then when you're ready to switch over to uh, regenerative braking, you just click it over to B mode, and it'll start doing that for you. I also like when it's on auto hold, it lights to, up to tell you that that's what's going on. Yeah, although we have a full, you know, it, 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 touchpad sort of in, uh, infotainment screen here. It's relatively easy to, to navigate your, yeah. your, your way to the radio, uh, the built-in navigation, or the volume, as well as the climate control. But I like it, but it's also, it's not intrusive, which... It's not know, huge, exactly. I, I kind of expected it to be intrusive, but it's not. Ah. Somebody gave the other lane warning. Nice to yeah. Yeah, the blind spot indicators are are uh, just a visual notification. It illuminates if someone's there, and if you turn your directional signal on, it'll flash to try to catch your attention. The only time there's an audible warning is when, just before the emergency braking is about to kick in. Well, I also notice how it's consistent. The controls are consistent with the way my 2014 Volkswagen is. It is, exactly. So it's exactly the exactly. same. Exactly, yeah, That's one cool. of the wonderful things about one of the great things that I love about Volkswagens is whatever generation you get into, the layout is, you know where to look for the controls that, that, that you're, you're, you're trying to, to engage. Well, Phil, did you have fun? How was the test drive? It was fantastic. I was really surprised how familiar that felt having been a VW owner for most of my life. Yeah, that's right. So the VW drive, it's not electric, correct? No, it's a 2014, not electric, but it was it was very similar. It felt like home right off the bat. And Phil, how was your co-pilot here? How did Mike do? He was great. You know, he was able to basically explain the things that I wasn't accustomed to in the car. You know, since you were uh, talking about some of the aspects of the ID4 that are bike friendly, um, you know, what about, you know, we've got our bikes on the, on the rack here, on the hitch, uh, which I understand, Mike, in the all-wheel drive versions, the hitch receiver comes standard, but uh, what do you need to do, like, for Phil as the driver, backing in? Or anytime you put it in reverse, because you've got these bikes back here. What about your sensors? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. Uh, many, I think, bike uh, enthusiasts are, are accustomed to new vehicles having sensors on the back of the car. And so when you put a hitch back there like this one here, you, you put it in reverse, it starts beeping at you. And sometimes even emergency braking kicks in. So with the ID4, although those sensors will be picking it up, you can adjust the volume of the rear sensor so it's a little quieter. Mm -hmm. And there's also a feature where you can cut off the maneuvering braking. So that way it won't hit the brakes as you start to accelerate backing, backing this, up. Right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I think if, if you forget one or two times after that second time, you'll remember to just yep. take a step and, and quickly hit a button to deactivate that feature. Now, Phil, I, I mentioned the, the rack, and this is your rack. This that, is my rack, yes. That you brought, and you've got the e-bike 
from your shop where you work, Conti's Bike Shop. Um, I brought my bike as the conventional bike here. It needs a little air in the tires, but <laughs> we'll overlook that. Um, with the ID4 and, and the hitch, it's a, what size hitch comes with the all wheel drive? This is a one and a quarter. That's installed at the factory uh, with all all wheel drive versions of the ID4. Now, if you, if you have an ID4 that's not one of the all wheel drive models, can you still get a hitch? You can, although our Volkswagen accessory catalog does not offer one for, for sale, there are plenty of options online where you can have an aftermarket hitch installed okay. uh, if you don't want to go with roof racks up top. What do you say, you know, Phil, you've had your fun driving the ID4. I want to see what your e-bike, if you'll let me ride this, compared to- You want to ride my e-bike? I would love to you if that's- want to I want to have some fun now. <laughs> I want to compare this to my bike. Okay, okay. Well, let me go ahead and take the, the bike off the rack. All right. All right. And then I'll kind of go over the controls with you. All right, yeah, please yeah. do. Yeah. Everything that you need to know, you probably already know, seeing as how you've got experience riding bikes. Yep. Okay. So it, it, the basics, the controls are going to be the same. This is going to be the rear brake. This is going to be the front brake, right? Okay. The gear shifting here, you're probably accustomed to with your mountain bike. Yep. And this has seven speeds in the rear cassette and it is a single uh, chain ring in the front, so you don't have to worry about shifting the front gears at all. There's no derail here in the front. Okay. Uh, and, and like I said, rear brake, front brake, front I think brake. you understand that you start with the rear brake and you bring the front brake in if necessary to increase your stopping power. Yeah, if but, you need uh, to, yeah. Typically the rear brake. Rear brake, right. otherwise you tend to... <laughs> yeah, interesting things can happen. Yeah. Now, so, now since this is an e-bike and I see is that an on-off? No, that is not no? an on-off. That okay. is a little spot. Uh, when you when you buy this bike, it comes with a little bracket that you can attach here, and then you can order different phone holders and other accessories oh. that you can put there. The controls for the bike are over here. Oh, okay. okay. There's basically three buttons. This is called a, a, an HMI, and that's a human machine interface. Mm -hmm. Right, That's the acronym. And it's very simple to operate. This is a very simple bike. Um, so this triangular button here mm -hmm. is the power on. So I hold this button down until I see the lights there. Got it. Okay. And then you basically have uh, four different operating modes. Mm -hmm. This is a class one e-bike. So it requires that you pedal to get the assist. Mm. And a class one bike is limited to 20 miles per hour. If you pedal faster than 20 miles per hour, you're not going to get any more assist from the motor. Okay. You're allowed to go faster, but it has yep. to be on, it's on you. Gotcha. All right. So uh, right now we can see that the light here is white. Mm -hmm. Okay. That indicates that it's in fully manual mode. So that's as if you, you know, it's a regular bike. Just you're going to pedal and off you go. Right. And then as you, at this upper button, as I press that one time, it goes to green. And that is the, essentially the eco mode. That's the least amount of power assist that you can get, Okay. right? If I push it again, it's going to go to yellow. Okay. That's the middle point. And if I push it again, it's going to go to red, and that is max power, Woo. right? So <laughs> um, when you, uh, as your first ride on an e-bike, yeah. I would suggest that you just start pedaling with the power off, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And then just cook it And up then floor the it. No. <laughs> There's no throttle. <laughs> you, know, you are the throttle, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I got it. You, you, how no, fast I'm you pedal, yeah. how hard you pedal. But for just because you, you need to get that feel of what happens when the pedal assist kicks in. Yeah. So start pedaling, click it up into the green mode while yeah. you continue to pedal, and you'll start to get a feel for how that works. Yeah. All right. Well, I think I'm going to take off here. All right, Mark. And let's see what happens. Have fun. All right. I'm in the red. <laughs> I think I could get used to this e-bike. I, I, I really enjoyed it. If I, if I had a little more time with it, uh, I'd be even more comfortable, but there wasn't much of a, you know, a learning curve with no, it. I didn't expect it. Yeah, and even like I got it, I, I pushed it up to red and yes, it was, it was a little quicker. But what I liked is that when I got to a turnaround point on the trail. Mm -hmm. I used the green assist, right. I think it was the first level. That's right. To just help me turn around and push back up a slight incline. Mm -hmm. So it was perfect, the brakes are great. Um, 
and you had fun. In, I sure did. In the ID4. I had a lot of fun in the ID4. Yeah, and you know, and we want to thank uh, you, Mike, for going over the, the features of the ID4, some of the bike friendly features uh, of it too. But um, Phil, so you're with Conti's Bike Shop, and right. Leith is working with you guys on you know several rides over the course of the year. Thank you so much for bringing the Cannondale. You're welcome. For our video and for letting me ride it. Yes. And Mike, uh, again, thank you for uh, going over the Volkswagen, of course, Volkswagen Raleigh for providing the ID4 today. For anyone that wants to learn more about the Volkswagen ID4, or maybe this Pro S version with the all wheel drive, where do they need to go? So if you just check us out, uh, you can start online. You can look at leafvolkswagen.com, uh, talking about how of an easy transition it was to go from a regular bike to an electric bike with this Cannondale, I think the ID4 is, is very similar, offering you a, a, a regular drive feel if you want to just have the vehicle coast like your car would when you let off the accelerator, the, then you can switch over to a B mode where it uses that regenerative braking and gives you that electric car feel. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Phil. You're very welcome. And thank you for watching Zero to 60 TV. I'm Mark Arson for LeapCars.com.